all in all, we have a pretty volunteer state. The chilly rain from last night has moved on. The temps have bumped up a bit here at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. The whole of downtown Nashville likely still reverberating with the sounds of the Titans taking the field a moment ago. They're ready for football as their Titans are set to match up with the San Francisco 49ers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we take a look at this Titan ball club entering play. They come in on a loss last time out, but they've been playing better than 500 ball the last couple months. Five wins in their last eight games. On the other side of the field for the visiting 49ers, they're in a real group of late. Winners of five of their last six games. You name it, he's got it. But he did throw an interception in last week's game. That contributed to a loss. And despite the fact he threw three touchdown passes, he's going to be out there redoubling his efforts and trying to play better. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. So let's take a look here at the key and actives. And Charles, I guess you get this late in the year, you expect to see some guys populating on this list. You're exactly right. No one's happy about it, but it really shouldn't be a surprise. So the guys who are playing in their spots, in their stead, they have to step up now and make big plays for their team. Now it's Tannehill. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he'll get this all the way up to the 42-yard line. And CD, defensively, you're going against a hot quarterback coming off a three-touchdown game in their victory a week ago. But what's the big key for them to try to slow him down? You ask all the tough questions, don't you, partner? Because with this guy, if you blitz him, he takes advantage of that man coverage and burns you. But if you bring on those extra DBs, he sits back there and does what he wants. To me, it's going to be those DBs. When they catch the ball, big-time tackles really put it on those receivers. No room to be had there on the first down run as he's lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. From the gun, here's Tannehill. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Rodgers. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They'll fake it. Now Tannehill. And incomplete on the deep ball. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Tannehill. That's caught. Nick Westbrook Akine with it. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 22-yard line. Well, they obviously read man coverage there, partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him think. By that yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. First down, Hilliard, and he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Back to throw, Tannehill. Over the middle, it's caught by Rodgers. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here's Tannehill. His throw caught at about the five. And the Titans are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Beautiful throw right there on third down, and it looked like this was going to be six points. But a nice touchdown saving tackle at the end of this. Even still, this offense is knocking on the door now with a first and goal at the one. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Now Tannehill. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Chester Rogers, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Titans take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Building confidence after a loss, that's a good way to do it. The loss last game, but first drive here in this one, cashing it in for six. Yeah, they can talk all they want about putting a loss behind them. I think that drive there did more than any conversation they had, don't you think? That's exactly right. Puts that to bed, and this is what they said all week long. A lot of things they needed to do differently. Whatever they said appears to have worked. Extra point up and good by Bullock, and it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Takes it at the 7. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The 49er offense coming out here for the first time, led by their quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo. Garoppolo, fifth season with the 49ers, eighth overall in the National Football League. And Jimmy Garoppolo has shown that he can be a Super Bowl quarterback, but his biggest problem, his ability to stay healthy and remain on the field. When able, he's a capable quarterback prone to winning games both in the regular and postseason. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. The numbers last week for Mitchell. 15 carries, 104 yards, and a score as well. And now that he's playing a Thursday night game short week, you know he spent a lot of time in the trainer's room in the cold tub trying to get his legs back for this game. Right back to Mitchell on second down. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll try the left side. Mitchell, and a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. They'll run on first down. Mitchell. Yeah, nothing good. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. To throw. It's Garoppolo. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. They'll try and run for it. This is huge trick. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss.
So Garoppolo off. Coming on is the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So, yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the year. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have open the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. Tennessee offense making their way out onto the field as you take a look at the playoff race in the AFC. And listen, these Thursday night games, they're tough on the body. You just played on Sunday, 72 hours later. Hey, it's game day again, but I have to think a Thursday night game in September much more preferable than a Thursday nighter in December, no? Oh, there's no doubt about it. You mentioned how tough it is on the body. How about the mind? You're already tired, fatigued, right? Trying to battle for playoff spots. And here you have the quick turnaround. Now, the flip side is, if you take care of business, win that Thursday nighter, you go into a mini open week. Gives you a few extra days to heal up the body and the mind before you play your next game. Well, this defense for the Niners, they played extremely well last week in the win over Atlanta. It was a little bit enlightening talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. And yeah, that is incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. There will be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Niners will go on offense. First and ten. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. A tough challenge here in this one. We'll see if he can duplicate the numbers on your screen that he put up last week, up over 100 and a touchdown. We're watching tape to prepare for this game. One thing you noted that I totally agree with, great complimentary piece in the last game. You know, they're able to throw it pretty well. He ran it exceptionally, and they hope to continue that same formula in this game. Complimentary with an E, not an I. That's my English teacher right there. Right back to Mitchell on second. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Let's go, Let's go. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and then controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. And he'll give it here to his running back. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And I give this time to the tailback. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. A good down to possibly take a shot. And in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. 
And he'll run on the inside handoff. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. But they went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Garoppolo on first down. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Jeffrey Simmons make that now eight sacks for him on the season. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Now Garoppolo. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. The Niners on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. That is caught by the tight end, Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle with touchdown number seven on the year. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. Well, the lost sleep that the defensive coordinator had all week preparing for this game, a good portion of it was trying to prepare for him because yeah. he's absolutely a phenomenal player. And a lot of times around the goal line, they know it's going to him. It's just so... And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How's the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Gold with the extra point, and the lead is now 10-7. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field and they come into this one off the loss over the weekend but you say if you're going to play a Thursday night game this is the week to do it it certainly is because you get right back out there you don't have time to dwell on things and look your game plan is going to be a little more limited but so is theirs so that's when you just appeal to your top players guys you make plays in this one we out execute them we can walk away with a win Play action. It's Tannehill. Got his man. That's the pro bowler, Julio Jones. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. And another thing that makes the comeback back really effective is that oftentimes after you've made this initial move, the receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. Here's McNichols. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. 
Now a give right side. Hilliard finds a seam inside the 40 and down to the 28-yard line. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Here's Hilliard. And he'll get about four as he's brought down at the 24. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Tannehill. And that's complete to Westbrook Akine. And out of bounds right around the 20. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. To throw is Tannehill. And they're going to get him. He sacked back around the 28. Eric Armstead, the defensive end, will get credited for the sack. You and I both know we're into a whole new realm of football because we're not just looking at tendencies anymore. We're looking at analytics, and I've got to think the analytics on third and one say run the football. Here's Bullock now for the Titan field goal. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. And Bullock will put this one through, and that will knot us up at 10. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's when your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. They're riding a two-game winning streak into this Thursday nighter. How easy is it when you're on a roll to stay on a roll given the quick turnaround? Well, you would think it'd be pretty easy because everyone's locked in in practice and meetings because everyone feels good about themselves. And for coaches, this is where they have to tell themselves, don't add too much, don't worry about game plans as much as players. So look at your play sheet and think, give it to the guys who play best and don't worry about the rest of it. On second down now, it's Mitchell. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. It's almost a tendency breaker. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but if they make them out of bounds, that does you no good. Garoppolo's throw taken in by Samuel. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 43. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. On play action, now Garoppolo. It returns it right back to Samuel. And he's going to get this inside the 30. I like that one, partner. They go back to back with excellent gains. And really, it shouldn't be a surprise who they were throwing the ball to. He's their best guy. Yeah, we knew that they would get him involved early. They're doubling down on getting him involved early. Don't be surprised if they'll come right back to him again. They haven't shown the propensity to be able to stop him. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. 
And he will find his man, Samuel. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. It's second and seven from the nine. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, are usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone. But it's incomplete. The kick by Gold is good. And they will take the lead at 13 to 10. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Takes it at the seventh. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Titans offense now, they get ready to do battle again here. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Off play action, Tannehill. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, Hilliard. And he'll get this one across the 20, but only up to about the 21. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On is Kern, the punter, to send this one away. Just a yard return there after a punt of 49. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here comes Jimmy Garoppolo now to lead his offense back out there. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. A big play there just before halftime. I don't think there's anyone who could possibly doubt how fast he could run in the open field. But if there were, he silenced those thoughts there. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards and just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And his top speed is computed by Next Gen Stats. 21.6 miles per hour. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Garoppolo. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are right there. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. 
Throwing now is Garoppolo. And it's caught. Touchdown! Jimmy Garoppolo with his second touchdown pass of this first half. And the Niners would extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Now gold for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The drive there only spanning three plays. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting 49ers on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we're into the final three weeks of the NFL season. A lot of races going to be coming right down to the wire. Before we get it back to you guys, let's check out what we have coming up this weekend on the Week 16 NFL Slate. Some great games coming up this weekend, two on Christmas Day. Cleveland traveling up to Lambeau to take on the Packers, and then later, Indianapolis taking on Arizona. Lots to look forward to in the late games as well. One of the best being up in Seattle, where we find the Seahawks taking on the Chicago Bears. Then, on Sunday night, wrap up your Christmas weekend with a great one in the NFC East. Washington and Dallas at 8.20 Eastern Time. We continue on with a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Niners. And the ground game has been a big part of why they have this big lead. And you have to figure they'll lean on it a little bit more in the third and fourth quarters. And meanwhile, for the Titans, they did not have the same kind of success on the ground. They struggled to get the run game going to this point, as you see there. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Fielded just outside the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 21. They'll start the third quarter here on the ground. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Here's Garoppolo to throw. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. So a change of possession here, here on the punt. Here and it'll be Titan football. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. 
And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now, let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. Throwing on second and eight, Tannehill. He's got his tight end, Anthony Ferkser. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now a give right side. Hilliard, and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively, and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game, but why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Mitchell. He's got a first down past the 30. And now the rookie's free. The 20. Touchdown, 49ers. Elijah Mitchell, 81 yards. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, we have seen some rookie running backs come in and have a big impact year one. And this guy would certainly fit that bill as that was one heck of a run there. And this is a play defensively where you're just looking around and saying, what was that? What just happened? You're looking at your teammates. They're looking at you. And let's face it, your defensive coordinator, he's not going to tip his cap to him. That's not how football works. But he probably should have after that run. That was absolutely sensational. And he covered a lot of ground on that one, as evidenced by the final total there on Next Gen Stats. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Titans offense now. They work their way back onto the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. They'll run again with Hilliard. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Now a third down throw, but he misses the target incomplete. Here's Brett Kern now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Oh, 
A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and possession will switch hands first and ten. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. From the 38, Garoppolo. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And that's going to lead to a third down. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. That one caught by Ross Dwelly. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. On play action, it's Garoppolo. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. On second and ten. Garoppolo taking a shot for Samuel. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. Oh, you're not going to hear Jimmy Garoppolo mentioned among the strongest arms in the league, but that doesn't mean he can't beat you with a long one. And as that ball was hanging in the air with the receiver streaking downfield to meet it, here in the stadium, you could just sense the crowd thinking, oh, no. And their worst fears were realized as that one turned into a long touchdown. Gold to add the extra point. And the lead is now 24. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. And as this offense makes their way back out, it's AFC playoff race time as we give you a look. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep him warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. You got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground. Hilliard. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw, Tannehill. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side go, judge. Go, and that's go. good enough for a first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. On first down, it's Tannehill. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Back to the air, Tannehill on second down. Jones has it. 
And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. On third down, Hilliard. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped them. Bring it up fourth down. Here's Brad Kern now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. No return, but it goes down as just a punt of 31 yards. And the 49ers will take over deep in their own territory. Debo Samuel and the 49ers back in possession here. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. On second and very short. Garoppolo, that's Samuel, caught left side. Let's go, boys, let's go! Here's Garoppolo on first and ten. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and ten coming up. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. And that'll be incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Gets this one to use check. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. And there are really very few fullbacks in the NFL today that get used as weapons in the passing game. But Kyle Juszczyk, definitely one of them. Part of the reason he's been a pro bowler five years in a row. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Second 10 coming up here in Nashville. Third quarter action. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. Nine yards, not quite enough. And they'll be left now with third and one. To throw is Garoppolo. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And this is a beauty as that ball's going to angle out at the six-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there work on positioning the football and helping their team. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. Here's second and ten. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. 
and nowhere to go. He goes down to the turf in the end zone. Tannehill taken down for the safety. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here, and that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well, and they free kick it from the 20 now. Field it at the 20. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And Charles, we are in the midst of a very one-sided affair. I think this is where you and I <laughs> have to fill a little bit. You want to regale us with old stories of your childhood in New Paltz, New York? <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to hear that, but this is a perfect time for us to start listing MVP candidates, right? right. The best teams we've seen so far this year, the best games that we've called thus far, how we anticipate the season unfolding. We can go in so many different directions because <laughs> the game certainly not taking us there. Oh, I hear the remotes clicking off right now and he's going to have a Niners first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37 no doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here Charles the lead in the fourth quarter this is when coaches that have a reliable running game they breathe a little easier on the sideline yeah they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game that means they're really counting on that offensive line counting on the runners taking care of the football because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And I give this time to the tailback. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. The Niners on third down. Five out of nine thus far. Here it's third and two. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is going to have a 49ers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Now a give right side. Mitchell. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. 187 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. That's it, baby. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second down, it's Mitchell. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31-yard line. The Niners on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. This will be third and five. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Come on, baby. Let's go. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
On first down, Mitchell. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. Going to give this time to the tailback. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. So Garoppolo off, coming on is the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. And Gold is able to put it through, and that will push the lead up from 26, and it grows up to 29. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. We got this. The Titans getting set and ready to go here for their next drive. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. They don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. They're throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Out of the gun, Tannehill. Complete to Jones. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Nick Bosa in there to get him, and that is now sack number 18 on the season for him. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Tannehill. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. The Titans on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This will be third and forever. Under pressure, and he's going to go down. Tannehill sacked. D.J. Jones drops him for a loss of 14 yards, and it also brings up fourth down. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Here's Brett Kern now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. He'll send this up into the Nashville skyline, and it's a good one. It'll be a 51-yard punt Let's that go, time. Let's go. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. They're looking at a third straight win here if they can hold on. Good starting field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10 at their 38. They'll run on first down. It's Mitchell. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it, the vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and the big yardage all night long. 
First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Another carry here for the fullback, Juszczyk. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, yo. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. Here comes Ryan Tannehill now leading his offense back out there. And the stats on the screen tell the story. A great start. This defense, they've made some good adjustments, so he's fallen off since. Have to like what they did at the half, but you also have to like the fact that they hung in there. Despite the fact they had a tough first half, he was locked in, right? Rocking and rolling. They came out, made their adjustments, got their confidence back. Now they're causing him all sorts of trouble. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Meanwhile, Tannehill's throw there complete to Rodgers. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Second and 10, Tannehill once more. First down and much more here for Jones. And brought down across the 50 to the 49-yard line. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Tannehill's throw here into the hands of Jones. And he's got this down to the 35. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Tannehill throwing again. Throwing left side, it's complete. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Tannehill. And this is caught. Well, they get one back, picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. The touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play, got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Bullock good on the extra point, and that'll cut the lead down now to 22. A drive that time of six plays. And it ends with a Tennessee score. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. San Francisco's offense returns to the field. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. Yes, get out of there. So the victory here for San Francisco, and you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. 
Well, what we saw here was offense is spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So for the Niners, it's a critical win for them as it gets them to 9-6 and six on the year. 